What's up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements with another addition to the Spirit Animal Playlist. Guys, this is all about the bull or the ox spirit animal. So guys, this is a playlist I'm putting together about spirit animals or just the meaning behind the animal spirit of each. So if you've ever had one that you specifically resonate with, perhaps take a listen and see if any of my um, personal interpretations and research and things resonate with anything that you, you know, may experience or have in your life. Or of course, if you have any, um, positive, you know, feedback, um, that you get from these videos, it's all that I want out of love and good intent. So you guys, if you have not resonated with any specific animal spirit or spirit animal totem throughout your life or at any point, um, maybe pick one intuitively and see if you resonate with any of the traits within the video. So guys, again, this is all about the bull or ox spirit animal. So this is a very, very strong, obviously powerful, forceful, very, very, you know, kind of like I want to call it the fire sign, maybe, even though bulls in astrology represent the sign of Taurus and Earth. But I want to say it is ferocious and very, very strong energy. So if you resonate with the bull spirit, you can be assertive and abrupt, very frank um, you know, but possess a quality of leadership that is second to none, something that is already inherited to you by nature. So you're a born capable leader, you know, definitely a force to be reckoned with a massive, massive capacity to endure. And again, your stamina is so amazing backed up by being such a powerhouse and so big and capable and strong with any endeavor or any energy that you're putting out, especially, you know, mental or physical or leading a group in any way. It is done with, you know, a real, you know, um, authoritative step forward, just like the bull. It's also um, indicative and symbolic of very wise, ancient, old soul. So, you know, um, someone who is potent and very fertile would resonate with the bull spirit, animal energy. Um, in fact, for many, many, um, cultures throughout history, this is recognized that the bull, the animal or the deity or totem it, it represents, you know, fertility, just very, very fertile, able to sire many, many children. And if not biologically, like kind of symbolically, leading a herd, right, as the leader. So with strong, strong capacities to direct others and influence others in a very powerful way. And this is done with a gentle touch, you know, believe it or not, even though the bull is extremely, um, you know, strong, heavy, um, almost like an iron, you know, train coming at you. But this is, again, done with a gentle touch of wisdom, as if, you know, compared to maybe an Indian chief, right, you are able to lead if you resonate with the bull spirit and your word when it's spoken is taken very seriously and respected a lot. So it's taken and listened to and very, very much appreciated from the herd, from your peers. And because of this camaraderie, you know, it's beautiful. The bulls are in herds again. So if you resonate with this energy, it's beautiful thing because when you will lead the herd and show your dismay, then your, your herd, because they respect and love you so much and know what your worth and your integrity and your wisdom is for them, they will then begin in order and come along with you and form a stampede, right? And nothing will, nothing will be able to survive. It's like whatever you are fighting for, once, you know, you put your foot down and your authority, nothing is going to change. That is what kind of strong, strong, um, you know, spirit animal energy that the bull is. And just like, again, a Mack truck or just a huge piece of machinery, like a non-stoppable steam train, something like that, like something built to last. Um, it just, you are able to charge ahead and be a powerhouse of momentum force. Once again, so forceful. And when needed, you know, all the loved ones and trusted ones that you keep 
within your herd, your circle of trust, your, you know, peers or your allies, your loved ones that you have around you, your herd will join in any campaign. Once again, you know, anything for you because of the way that you are able to be so powerful and make such a mark and really steam ahead again and provide, you know, things that are for the herd at all times. And so when you are called upon to make a decision, the herd follows and with honor. And this um, animal totem often is representative of financial affiliations as well. So, you know, like money, um, wealth, material gains and material items, um, savings, any kind of saving, cash, banks, you know, accountancy even. And also, again, I said it before, but should be mentioned, the sun sign Taurus is represented by the bull in the zodiac. And in astrology, it also has a heavy emphasis on long-term investments, savings, uh, material, because they are an earth sign, etc. Um the bull spirit has an absolute no fear attitude, like obviously tackles or charges all issues, you know, takes charge of all, you know, jobs that need to be done, um, takes charge and control of all situations quickly, you know, overcomes and has no fear with any challenge or test throughout their life. And this is done with brute forceful bravery at its highest degree. And they, again, just take charge immediately, instinctively, ingeniously with this specific strategic action that people, again, in the herd, their circle of trust find very effective and, again, admire and respect about you. Um, if you resonate with this energy, you leave an impression and a mark Every time that you are challenged and overcome that challenge. So this can be in a public way or through relationships. So people who or situations or, you know, things like that that have opposed you in the past, um, so to speak, waving that red cape in front of you, you know, teasing you um, in the ring, right? Egging the bull on the bull spirit animal person, you know, will step up to the challenge and you know, the challenger then most certainly would be defeated and the challenger will not dare to challenge the bull spirit person again. And also, you know, the bull spirit, because of the virility associated, the fertility, virility, masculinity is also associated with the bull spirit um, and the offspring producing qualities Ancient tribes and people viewed the bull as a sacred being, also symbolizing extreme notions of giving birth, being fertile, things growing. So even if it wasn't, you know, um, an actual gestation of a human, crops and things like that, things that needed to um, be fertile, like soil, everything was dedicated and different rituals and offerings were done with the bull as the receiver. And definitely, you know, these civilizations and groups um, throughout history are all extremely, extremely diverse. And there's just been countless through the years. Um, the Egyptians, Native Americans, of course, um, the Druids, the Greeks, uh, the Chinese, of course, it's in the Chinese zodiac, um, the Maltese, and the list goes on and on. But they all worship the bull in some degree about their spiritual traits and qualities. And they viewed this as something that, again, was one of the divine. Some of the spirit animals can be messengers or oracles, um, you know, communicators between the worlds, between the ethereal and between the tangible physical plane that we live on. The bull was, you know, by past uh, tribes, etc., and now thought to be one of the divine. Zeus once disguised himself as a bull to procreate. It's very, very indicative of, again, that very masculine, strong, almost like Mars and Aries energy. So if you resonate with this energy too, you have a very long fuse, believe it or not, you know, or just a very slow buildup, almost like a um, forming 
cone in a volcano of lava. Slowly, you know, putting enough pressure over time on the volcano's cone to explode and burn down the whole entire village, though, with immense force. So even though you're very rarely pushed to this extreme, um, you're such a patient, patient person. That should be mentioned. But a long fuse, for sure. However, when it blows and it's kapow, nuclear bomb dropped, the problem or the adversary is wiped off the map. It's completely eliminated, just like the stampede or the bull with the horns. It's done. It's an over end game. So another quality um, the bull spirit embodies is the complete hatred of stagnation. You know, if you resonate with this spirit, the bull spirit loathes any kind of stagnant energy or stagnant person or situation cannot stand to be stalled stalls of any kind stalling themselves or you know people around them procrastinating just do not like to sit on things it's considered to be like a sin almost for the bull spirit people the, their motto is your motto is do it now with fury and never wait never hesitate so since I did mention earlier the herd stampeding, that also is symbolic of a kind of selflessness and sacrifice for a bigger betterment of all. And so, you know, when one knows that it is better to protect and go along with the goals or motives of someone else, if it is of integrity, like your herd would do on the stampede to, you know, show loyalty and respect toward you, this is... Uh, self-sacrifice. This is noble. This is for the betterment of others. This is some, you know, some sort of selflessness. And that is a beautiful quality that the bull spirit embodies. And guys, I thank you so much for listening. I send you lots of love, blessings, and light. Thank you many, many times over for checking out these videos. Again, this one was all about the bull or the ox spirit animal. Bye-bye, guys.